Goedemorgen luisteraars in Wollongong, Newcastle en Sydney. Dit is Joop Mul. So who is responsible for these costumes? Bernarda is responsible. She's, she has um, reconstructed all the patterns to fit the size of the dolls, done all the research in it and um, helped with the sewing and the details of each of the marionettes. We can ask the other girls to do the same. And the <laughs> end. Uh, she's done a wonderful job. Starting from the top, what's she wearing? Okay. She's wearing um, a lace cap who, uh, that Harmine Williams made that for us. And with the uh, all aces with the curls on the sides. Then of They're course... They're the, uh, the, the metal things yeah, at the top. Yeah, curls at the side of the head. Why would they have had those? Just simply Basically to hold a hat in place. <laughs> And to show that you're rich, because if it's made of gold, then, um, you know, to show that, that you've got some money. And then, of course, the um, the coral beads around her neck, the smocked bodice, and the uh, black velvet jacket, um, the traditional print apron, not print, uh, it's woven fabric, and then the black skirt. And then the petticoat. The red flannel petticoat underneath with a white lace one just for show, just because it's pretty. And the the clogs that are donated by the clog barn and painted by um, Carmen Letter from here in Sydney. How many petticoats? Uh, two. She's, she's only wearing two at this stage because she's wearing summer clothes rather than winter. So these are summer clothes? And well, this would be summer. Um, if she was wearing winter clothes, she'd have a, um, a very thick shawl on as well and have more skirts, wear more skirts and some of these skirts would be worn as petticoats and if you got very cold you just flip one over the back of your head and wear it as a cape rather than a skirt. How long? So where does your knowledge come from? Uh, well partly the, uh, being part of the Dutch folk dancing group is where it gave me a good start and then just in all the books that Francis and I have just researching it all. Um. Ja, Den Haag. En dat was Connie Stewart met Wat voor Weer. Goedemorgen, ik ben Joop Mul. Ja. There was a lot of questions people were asking about the about the Netherlands and about the different customs over there. So uh, when I was giving the talks at Kasula and at Liverpool, a lot of these questions came to the fore. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought it was, uh, it was good to do an extension of the Odyssey and uh, concentrate more on the culture and the history of the Dutch and how they, uh, after the war, had to come to Australia because they wanted to make a new life and how this cons how they just had to readjust to our to the Australian way of life, mm -hmm. and yet they still kept some of their own culture going, you know. Um, so that's why we thought we'd do the map because the map would show up all the differences um, of the country uh, and uh, how different it is from Australia. Gouda, Gouda, met je mooie grachten en je bruggen waar je voor moet wachten met je hobbelige straten en je hoeken en je gaten stad je aan de IJsselrand je bent het mooist van heel ons land We still got Zeeland to go, mm. North Brabant and people are working on the circus of Limburg and Gelderland so uh, we're getting there. We still need to do one for the overpass there. Yeah. Um, but that will only be a, a small one. All right. These circles all represent different icons from the different provinces. 
the research came out of books that were lent to me by the DACC and people um, like John Oprey lent me some books about Limburg and you know so I got the images from that I did the drawings and the ladies did the embroideries on them and each one has been done with loving tender care they're beautiful. How were they individually se selected? Well, we just we went by province and province, and I designed the circles to fit within that province. That's why they're all the different sizes, and the images within it represent then um, things that come from that region. And I didn't want to make all buildings or having all the same, so we also did flowers and. Um, um, animals, you know, from the different places. Is there a great variation within the country? Yes, well, the background um, is painted, I've painted it in different colours, and the um, representing what's in that, within that region, for instance, you have the purple, which represent the Haida, the blue represents the waterways. The green is the boss, boss uh, wood woodlands, and the uh, yellow orange is the sandy area. So that's you know I sort of tried to pick different things from each region that didn't repeat from you know, the same as the others. So they're all different. And what are we looking at now? That's a, a an, um, winter scene. How did you research the uh, the, the costumes and the clothing? Um, also through books, and um, people in Holland donated us a lot of information and books from. Uh, from the costumes and here in Australia a lot of people donated books with the costumes in it. And just again how many people are working on this? Approximately 30. Um, they're, not, they're not all the regulars. I have a regular team that come together every month and then I hone in to other people to come in and, and do various jobs. What the, you know, whatever their specialty is. How long? How long do you think it will take altogether? Well, by the time we finish, it'll be nearly four. It'll be four years. Appeltjes op het Ja, wat 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 er mee gedaan later, hè? Ja, je vraagt je af. Nou, nou. Misschien nou, gaat het. Ah, we will never know. We will never know, probably. Ah, ah, ah. All the work wat is in het museum. Ja, of stitches. Ja, dat het heft het het heft. Wat zien je kampen? Het heft is wat er in het museum. Ja, dat is super. Really. Look at the thousands of because it's not in the too, in the too tube. valuable yeah. to put it away to store it. Fantastic, too yeah. valuable. Favorite childhood memory, school excursion to the Efteling, a Dutch fun park called the Efteling. I have a film of that. great idea this project this echoes from the past to tell the story of the heritage brought to Australia by the Dutch <laughs> 